If you are syncing your brain to the brain cloud and making your brain public so others can access it, it's often necessary to mark some thoughts as private. I've synced this brain to the cloud, and in the brain access and sharing panel, I've marked it as publicly accessible. This means that I can share the URL with others to view online, and they won't see any of the thoughts that I've marked as private. If I provide access to this brain to other specifically designated brain users, either as editors or read-only, they will be able to view thoughts marked as private. This thought contains an attached document that I won't be sharing with the rest of my team. I'll click on the thought to open its thought properties display, and then simply click the padlock icon. This leaves the thought with the padlock icon on the Plex to visually identify it as a private thought. Additionally, any child thought that I add below a private thought will automatically be marked as private, but can be manually changed back to a public thought if needed. I can also right-click on a thought to mark it as private. If you'd like to review your list of private thoughts before sharing a link to your brain, open your report and filter out a list of all private or public thoughts. My review is complete, and now it's time to sync my brain and share the URL. If I'm logged into the brain cloud, I'll still see and have access to private thoughts in the web interface of the brain that I administrate. To review how your brain will look to someone who has not been given access to private thoughts, log out of the web client and then go to the URL for that brain. I'm not currently logged in to the brain cloud on this machine, and I've navigated to my brain online. I can see that the Wellington Phase 1 schedule thought is not being displayed, nor any of my other private thoughts.